Hello everyone, in this video we're going to see how we can use the Panda BT package to create a basic behavior tree AI for a simple soccer game in Unity. And I, my name is Petr Agrian. So what we're going to do is we're going to be using Unity where we have already created a simple soccer game. It looks like this. Uh, but now we want the agents to be controlled by behavior trees, kind of looking like this. And to do this, we're going to use the Panda BT free software. Okay, first, before going into details of how to do this, uh, we're going to see how the behavior trees look. Uh, it's a simple behavior trees. It's by no means optimal or complete, uh, but, but it does some, some um, fairly decent uh, soccer playing. So uh, this is what it looks. It has kind of one main tree and a subtree. The subtree indicated here. It's the kind of what you do if you have the ball or try to get the ball. If the ball is closer than 10 um, meters, you dribble. Uh, if it's further away, you try to intercept it. That is computing a, a point where the ball is going to be uh, some time, uh, a short time in the future. Uh, the main tree first checks if you're a goalie, then you defend. If you're the chaser, you go into the subtree of dribbling and intercepting the ball, and else you do some some uh, some generic uh, defensive maneuvering. Uh, and as you can see, there's no passing in this game. The goalie is just standing there; it doesn't try to kind of uh, clear the ball. Uh, and there's no. Uh, offensive maneuvering so it's very simple okay so so the subtree is over there this is the right thing is how it's going to look uh, in unity okay so you have a bunch of stuff in your scene and say you want to you want this guy a soccer player this guy to uh, be controlled by a behavior tree okay so what you do, you go to the asset store, you download Panda, Panda BT free here, and you in, uh, import it. And then here in your project window, you get uh, you get this stuff, Panda behavior, uh, and some stuff. There's some examples that are not in here, but in the core. Uh, this is kind of the, the script that you need to run. So you have your uh, game object and you add this guy over there. Excellent. This is going to run the behavior tree. So let's go back to the scene. Uh, we have the panda behavior here. The, this is the behavior tree script. Now there's nothing there. So we go back to our scripts. And there we are. This is a behavior tree we've written. It looks like this. It has a root tree and then it calls some subtree version one, which is this guy that calls chaser. That is this guy. We're going to get back to that. But right now we do this. We take the behavior tree here and we add it over there. Uh, and then it looks this nice. Uh, as you can see here, there's three trees. You can expand and contract them. The root is the one that is kind of run and this points to this subtree that then points to that subtree. Uh, this is kind of a chaser or attacker that uh, checks if the ball is close, then it's going to dribble. If it's not close, it's going to try to intercept it. Uh, and then the overall tree here checks if we're the goalie, then we should defend with a small number. This is some goal distance. Uh, if we're chaser, we're going to run this subtree. And uh, if that's not the case, we're going to do a defend with a larger, further away from our own goal. Uh, and that's everything we need. On the behavior tree over here, we obviously need to connect connect these conditions and actions to code in the script. And that looks like this. So for instance, is ball closer than? That is used uh, here. Uh, as you can see, uh, 
there's a parameter here. So is bulk closer than takes a float parameter, <coughs> returns a bool. That's why we use it as a condition down here. Uh, and then there's a simple computation checking if, if the ball position, uh, the distance from the ball to the player uh, is smaller than the distance parameter here, closer than. Uh, <coughs> similarly, uh, intercept ball, for instance, which is used here, uh, is a void uh, function uh, that does some computation and calls some sub function. Uh, and then obviously uh, moves the agent uh, in the end. Uh, but uh, one important thing is that the Panda BT is great, but it is uh, the default uh, has memories, so we need to handle that. So what we do, the default is uh, that <coughs> it's ticked on the update, but we swap that to manual and then in the code, uh, in the update of the code, we reset the tree and then tick it. So uh, to remove the memory of the tree and to be able to, to reset and tick the tree, uh, we need to uh, uh, create a game object here somewhere. Da, 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 da. Ah, there. This is the behavior tree object. And then in the start, uh, we, we create this variable that we can then tick uh, down here. Good. And then we need to write using panda here in the script as well. So then we're ready to roll. So uh, now we have two agents. Well, let's remove one of them. Uh, delete this guy and then we run this. So now both guys here are gonna be, uh, uh, there's just one guy on each team, so they're gonna be goalies. So that's not much fun. Uh, so we duplicate this guy and move him a little to the side and then run it again. Uh, so here we see uh, this guy is actually now uh, in chaser mode. This guy over here. Uh, so is chaser runs the chaser tree. Uh, and if the ball is this close, he's going to be dribbling with it. Uh, if somehow he manages to score, the ball is going to be respawned. He's struggling out there, so the ball is respawned. Now he's intercepting. Uh, so intercept ball, and now he's dribbling again. The goalie, uh, now they actually switch there. So you see, he was trying to get the goal, but got behind the goalie. And now he was assigned to be the goalie, and the other guy is dribbling here. Uh, as you can see. Excellent. So let's bring in a third guy and duplicate this guy again. Move him to the side, save and run again. <coughs> so this tree was kind of defined for three roles. This is the goalie. This is the kind of, uh, okay, they're swapping roles a bit. So this is the defined 0.7. Here uh, and this guy uh, is actually doing the dribbling and the intercepting. So it's kind of a defensive. You might want to, but as you can see now, they kind of switch. So now this guy is chasing while this guy is going back and they're changing, changing again, and so on. And you can see the execution down here. Uh, I guess that's all. So, in summary, we have this uh, soccer game, simple soccer game, where we want uh, behavior tree AI to control the players. What you need to do is you need to import the Panda BT free, works well. You import that and then you assign a Panda behavior script to the game object you want to control. Uh, then you create the, the BT in a text file, simple text file. You add it over here 
uh, then it's uh, almost ready to run. You also obviously need code to implement all the actions and all the conditions and you do that in a script somewhere um, with the same names as in the behavior tree. The script needs to be active and it needs to have this kind of little task label in front of it. Uh, and in the script you also need to handle this, the memory, the memory of the behavior tree which is default in Panda BT, so you need to uh, reset it before ticking it. That's all. Thank you.